only difference between a standing precision and a running precision, in theory, is the momentum. We're adding speed to the situation now. So basically what you want to focus on, as you approach the object, you do not want to slow down. You want to have your chest a little bit forward to initiate a good steady stride or a sprint, depending on the circumstance. You want to either step up or wherever your takeoff is, that leg's going to step on. The leg that's dragging back is going to knee through and you're going to reach with your arms. So don't lean back and try to jump like this with your chest back. Get everything in that direction. Now it's just a regular precision. All you're going to do is you're going to load and bring in the momentum. Now as the distance gets further, it's going to take even more commitment and even more speed. So find one that you like, do it repeating over and over and over again until you feel comfortable, then expand your horizon. So remember what we talked about earlier when we were talking about the precision, about the bounce back, if you undershoot or if you overshoot. Now with the running precision, like I said, we're dealing with more momentum. So, but the bounce back is gonna be the same. As long as your legs are in front and they're ready to load the impact, it's gonna come down. So as you run and you're in air, it's just gonna do the same thing. Remember to bounce back. Or even drop down into the cat position. Now, what do you do if you overshoot? It's a little bit different. Because of that momentum, you don't want to try to take it with your knees. So what you're going to do is you're going to let it plyo out. Use your calves. So as you overshoot, it's going to be here. Don't try to stop it. If you notice that you're overpowering something, don't try to stop. Because all it's going to do is just jerk your knee. So allow that momentum to keep transferring by doing a little hop off again. <laughs> 